Hello everyone, welcome to Gold Nugget. If this is your first time to the channel, let me welcome you. If you have already subscribed, let me thank you for joining me on this growth path. Today, my nugget is productivity is your responsibility. Everybody expects something from us, and this includes God. Now, Many of us as individual, we blame circumstances, we blame life, we blame others for our inability to produce. But productivity is our responsibility. In other words, our success, our growth and development is dependent on us. Now, let me put it this way. Jesus will die for you. He will save you. He will protect you from every arm and danger and hills of this life. And ultimately, he will take you to heaven. But there is one thing that he will never do for you. And that is being productive for you. In other words, he will not reproduce your gifting for you. Neither will he get up and do the things that you are supposed to do for you. In fact, he will judge you for your non-productivity. Productive growth is our responsibility, whether we are whether we are in the presence of God or men. In fact, let's take it down from, from God himself and bring it down to man. Any institution you are going to work in, they are going to employ you because of your ability to produce. They're not going to employ you just because you have a degree or just because you have a name or you came from a name family. They are going to employ you because you're able to produce. The company will probably give you the tools that you need to work with. They will surround you with the right team. But the overall end of the day, when your evaluation is done, it is going to be based upon how productive you are and how productive you were. That's how life is. Productivity is our responsibility, not somebody else. We can blame the tool. As a matter of fact, my grandmother used to tell me, say, it's a poor workman who blames his tool. Yes, the tools might be, might be crappy but it is your responsibility to replace them and get the job done. When you have um, ineffective tools working with, it is your responsibility to, to call the those above you and to point out the fault. It's not for you to continue to work with them and curse them. It is for you to discover new ways of doing what you need to, to get done. As I said before, productivity is not rest upon the shoulders of others. It is rest upon your shoulders. And it is how productive you are that is going to determine your success. Now, I would, at one point, I would consider myself in the seat just like many other individuals, thinking that if I am going to grow, if I'm going to succeed, if I'm going to accomplish um, certain task or certain goal, it is dependent on how much support I get from other people. It is dependent on how much resources I have from other persons and so on and so forth. That's That was how I believed it. But over time, I realized that success and growth is, is my responsibility. Nobody will voluntarily come up and say, I am going to help you to to grow people come alongside you as they see that you have a desire to grow they come alongside you as they see you progressing um if you are already swimming upstream others will swim with you if you are already climbing the mountain others will climb with you a matter of fact if you have the desire to climb the mountain and you ask the right people and you ask the right question others will support you and others will help you but you can't have a desire and let the desire just stay there and think that somebody 
externally your brain, externally your mind, externally your spirit is going to look into your head, look into your heart and just say, okay, he or she wants to get this done and, and, and go do it. No, that's not how it works. In order for, for us to, to, to grow, we have got to practice the power of visualization and verbalization and and we have to put it into action so you 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 visualize it in your mind you verbalize it whether by writing it down on a piece of paper and put it up on a wall like i did some years ago i put it on the, the fridge door and i say to myself this is the what i am going to use now this is called the power of imagination how your imagination can can be sparked by an action or a thing so every morning you get up in fact the brain doesn't know anything unless and, and, and except that which we tell it. As a matter of fact, if you get up each day and tell yourself you're weak, your brain will start to make you feel weak and tell yourself that you're weak. If you get up each day and tell yourself that you're successful, you are bad or whatever, your brain will start believe it and your actions will start patterning it. That's how growth takes place. That's how productivity takes place. It is finding that inner strength that inner desire and verbalizing it and working towards it i i have learned that consistency right is one of the keys to to this, to success as a matter of fact i put it this way when you have nothing are you never born with a gold spoon in your mouth your responsibility the only person who is responsible for your success is you and that means you're gonna have to get up every day and work at something consistently you're gonna have to get up and do it over and over and over as i said in my first video it might not be good it might not even look good it might not sound good it will be a knockoff it will be a low budget thing but over time you will improve over time you will get better over time somebody else will see you and start to give you support so this is jaw saying productivity is your responsibility God expect it from you, man expect it from you, and if you don't grow, both God and man will judge you over your non-productivity. You will lose your job over it, you will get poor grades in school over it, you will lose the best people around you, because guess what, success breeds success, just like our money attracts money, um, success breeds success. So if Anything I want to say to you in this nugget is, no matter what it is, create a way out. Find a way to grow. Find a way to develop. Find a way to make sure that you are productive every day. Little successes breed bigger successes. And ultimately, it breeds notoriety. Persons will come along. Person will help. Person will know. So don't sit down and tell yourself that this dream that I have will never happen because nobody is helping me. They don't have a right to help you. Nobody has a right to help you. You have a right to help yourself. And that means you have to look for the information. You have to practice the information. You have to make sure that you apply the information in every sphere and in every respect. This is JAW saying to you, grow. By all means, create a way out. God bless you. Bye.